Hello, everyone. You know, I got books and Bibles and everything else, but I really want to teach about a lot of things about maybe a little bit about the politics and the stuff goes around us. You know, Richard Nixon, really. For some of you that probably learned about Nixon, or probably not, oh no, not about Richard Nixon. You know, I, I do find it strange for, for part in Nick, Nixon, but I also think maybe he was telling the truth, he's not a crook. You know, I am not a crook. Oh, I like to rack up the place, and... <laughs> I am Richard Nixon. President of the United States of America. And I'd like to bury it with you guys and do evil shit. I did not do anything to the Watergate scandal. No, I am not a good guy. <laughs> no, but uh, the whole Watergate scandal and all that. But you know what? It does make you think that, that might have been bullshit or something weird. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You know, I wasn't there, though, when it happened. You know, what where it would happen. I mean, half the time, I, maybe Nixon was, maybe he was innocent, maybe he wasn't. But he did resign, and that's when Ford came, our president, and lost against Democrats that he fall down all the time. But... You also think it, dude, but does it, have you ever questioned the media if they really get everything wrong and did to you the truth? Have you ever questioned a lot of things that you're thinking, what if this is true, what if it's not true? You know? There's like, some bunch of conspiracy that it does flip your mind a little bit too, you know. I I do find it a little things odd and other than uh, what other that goes on and on. You know, with all the peach made for other presidents and other stuff that goes on. I mean, think about it. When the history of history. People probably are still questioning about the Lincoln assassination. Uh, you know, do anybody know who hired John Wilkes Booth that says and have Lincoln assassinated? You know, I, I you know I, I I was thinking it might have been Lincoln's vice president Andrew Johnson, and he just wanted to be president because he's so he could get rid. of so he could keep black people from voting. <laughs> or something odd. I mean, not every vice president liked to be with the, vice, with the president they were with, that they're working with. And having to tell you, you never know who wants you to kill, who doesn't. Well, think about it. All these w w coincidental assassination that you never questioned about most of the time, too. Like Andrew James or J like James Field, James Field Garfield. Uh, have you anybody questioned uh, why anybody was hire somebody to assassinate him, or why they assassinated him in the first place? Or what their motive were behind it all? Why they want to get rid of them? Or why? William McKinley got assassinated. Who? Why? What that person's motive was? Or was he hired to do it? You know?
these are a lot of questions that you've never been answered. Like, Lee Harvey Oswald, why he is that city? Was he hypnotized and brainwashed by the CIA? And the CIA had him assassinate assassinate John F. Kennedy? Think about it. Why would the CIA brainwash the people and have somebody being brainwashed and assassinate John F. Kennedy? Why assassinate John F. Kennedy? Why assassinate Robert F. Kennedy Sr.? Why have, you know, and why we do we have Martha Luther King assassinated? Because of his blood? Because this is not like how he spelled the secret or because he knows something and the CIA knew he knew? Think about it. Why? People try to assassinate people in the real first place. Did they didn't like what the president was doing, or did they just hate him because they're doing something the opposite? They didn't like what they were doing in the first place. You know? Oh, they realized, oh, they can't control the president, so they got assassinated because they're because the person who came president was doing. Everything right and didn't want to do what the other presidents were doing. I mean, think about it. People were trying to assassinate Theodore Roosevelt. And he got it back up and survived it. Theodore Roosevelt still did his speech. After he got shot, guys. I mean, think about it. Ronald Reagan. I mean, also got assassinated when he became president. Somebody. There got to be some strange motive, or some kind of connection. Why they want to assassinate? People who want to do the right thing, mostly. America, they want to keep repeating history instead of moving forward with history. You know? How do you know the CIA ain't working with the Illuminati? Uh, think about it. Or the Freemason. Or both. How do we know? How do we know our government puppeteers with the way behind it all? I think there's a lot of question and all self answers. You know? It's just like we don't want people to believe there's actually aliens. Project Blue Book. The list goes on, guys. I mean, if you think about this for one moment, you don't think of how crazy this is? Why? Or try to kill innocent people and hushing them up and stuff? Think about it.